Welcome to the Future of Customer Experience series with Accenture Interactive. I'm here with Erwin Lim to talk about experience marketing. Erwin, what are the top three issues that clients are facing? The funny thing is that when I talk to clients, um, almost nobody tells me that they don't know what experiences they want to create or how they want to create those experiences for their customers. The challenges that come up often are across three key things. Number one is to deliver those experiences requires working across departments and functionality. And most organizations are not set up to do that. Now, because of that, that creates the second problem, which is the complexity in actually trying to do um, almost some, sometimes very simple things. Launching an, uh, an application that is integrated across data and media and brand, for example, which leads me to the, the, the final point, which is, the one biggest thing that marketers need to start to do, which they're not doing very well at this point, is to break free from that campaign mindset that there is always a campaign plan that we need to stick to versus what is the experience architecture that we need to be building for our brand and the company to interact with customers. So you're talking about experience marketing rather than campaign marketing, but what does that actually mean and how does a marketer bring that to life? One of the key things about experience marketing is to have individuals that understand and appreciate the nuances of working between cross functionalities. Specifically with uh, Accenture, we have roles or, or individuals with talent to work across these that we call experience architects that will help clients bridge those gaps and those silos between organizations. To give an example, we recently have been helping a client across a problem of personalization. Personalization is a very hot topic now. Everyone's talking about it in terms of how do you bring one-to-one -one marketing and contextual content that's dynamic and relevant to, to individuals and their customers. Now, at the very surface level, it's very easy to understand, but once you dig into it, it becomes complex very quickly because it presupposes the integration of data, analytics, great creative, supported by technology at scale that you can deliver real-time and dynamic personalized uh, interactions. Putting all that together is a classic example of how experience marketing can help. Within experience marketing, is brand still as important as it always has been? It is. Um, branding as the emotional connection to customers is still vitally important, but that's the inside out point of view uh, that the brand sees themselves. What's equally important and that's to be bring, brought into the picture is the outside in point of view, which is the whole experience marketing dimension of things. Thank you so much for your time, Erwin. Thank you, it's my pleasure. And if you want to know any more about experience marketing, you can click on the link below.